Play this on repeat until you master this problem on Lewis structures. Write a Lewis structure for each of the following. We're gonna start off with HF here. Recall on the periodic table that H has one valence electron and F has seven valence electrons. So I'm gonna just take my H right here and bond it to this with my one valence electron and then bond it to my F, which has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons here. So I have a pair of electrons, which is now going to be a bond. And that is our first Lewis structure. Next, we're gonna have F2 or F bonded to itself. So we're gonna have F with seven electrons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons, and another F with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. I'm gonna erase that pair of electrons and create a single bond there. That is F2. Next, we have CH3F here. See if you can pause the video and drop a screenshot of what you think this will be. So I'm going to assume that carbon here is the center atom and I'm going to place it right here. I know that carbon has one, two, three, four valence electrons here. And next I have H3, which I'm going to bond one, two, three, each of which donate one electron here. I'm going to erase that pair of electrons and create a bond. And finally we have F, which is attached right here with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. I'm gonna erase this lone pair and then create our Lewis structure for CH3F. Next we have HNO2 here. So this time I'm going to assume that N is going to act as the center atom here. So suppose that I bond with nitrogen. This is going to have five valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to take one oxygen from this O2. I'm going to take it to the left here and bond one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. That leaves a nice space for my H to come in here and bond. So, and I'm going to erase this lone pair and create a bond here and erase this lone pair and create a bond here. Now, the problem is I do have O2 here. So what I'm gonna do is take another oxygen and bond one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. But notice that this is a single radical. We don't want that. And this one is a radical as well. So we're going to bond those together and place them next to each other like this. And that's going to create a double bond. And then I'm just going to move these electrons around just for convenience.